In this video, we demonstrate how to check a memory safety property using Atlas. Atlas is a platform for software analysis using a graph schema. Let's see with an example. Code shown is from Xenu, an embedded operating system. In the function dsWrite, memory is allocated on line 21 using the function getBuff but a corresponding deallocation using the function freebuff in Xenu is missing. When an allocated memory is not deallocated, it is a memory safety violation and is called memory leak. Is there a memory leak in Xenu? Static analysis tools perform interprocedural analysis to compute the call chains shown on screen and find that on some execution paths, the memory is deallocated in the function dskqopt but not on all execution paths. Thus, the tools conclude there is a memory leak in Xenu and recommend to deallocate the memory at the end of dsWrite. This fix is problematic as it violates the Xenu design, which takes care of the issue using interrupts. A correct analysis should also capture a function which is invoked by an interrupt and deallocates the memory. This is a valid implementation of the producer-consumer pattern and there is in fact no memory leak. Let's dive in and find this missing function using Atlas. First step in analyzing software in Atlas is to build a graph representation for the code in Atlas. To do that, first create an Eclipse project for the code. For a C code such as Xenu, click File, New, make file project with, an, with existing code, browse to your code location, give it a name and click finish. After creating the project, click Atlas, manage project settings, select your project Xenu in this case, click add, click save and remap. This will create a graph representation for the code base in Atlas. You can follow the progress with the progress bar on the bottom right. Now we are ready to analyze Xenu. Analysis in Atlas is done by interacting with the graph representation. Atlas provides a query language to facilitate the interaction and an execution environment to execute the queries. This environment is called Atlas Shell. Click Atlas, open Atlas Shell to open Atlas Shell. Let's warm up by locating the code we are interested in, the function dsWrite. The query for locating dsWrite is functions query. Hit enter to execute the query. Using the show query, we can see the result of the query executed. It shows a node in the graph that represents the function dsWrite. Atlas maintains source correspondence with the graph. Double clicking on the graph elements navigate to the code segments represented by the graph elements. The function dsWrite allocates a memory of the type dereq. We will make use of this information to discover the missing function necessary to complete the analysis. Let's start by creating some handy variables to represent the allocation function getBuff, the deallocation function freeBuff, and the type dereq. First, compute all the functions that can potentially alias the memory allocated in dsWrite. Let's see the result of the query. It does capture dsWrite as expected, but it also captures dsInter, the function invoked by an interrupt. We are interested in a subset of these functions as not all of them can deallocate the memory. The query to compute the relevant functions and the call chains is a combination of multiple queries. First query computes the relevant call chains originating at dsWrite. Second query computes the relevant call chains invoked by an interrupt. Finally, we combine the two results. Here are the call chains computed by the query that are necessary to complete the analysis. It shows that dsWrite allocates a memory, which is passed through dskNQ to dskQopt 
and is deallocated on some execution paths in DSK Qopt. The other mechanism for deallocation is via dsinter, which is invoked by an interrupt. It accesses the memory allocated in dswrite using a global alias and deallocates it. The verification can then be completed using a model checker to verify all execution paths captured in these call chains. To know more about Atlas, its graph representation, and the query language, visit nsoftcorp.com slash atlas.